What's up, Steelers Nation? It's Chris G. Welcome back to the channel. And we're here. It's the week of the draft. I mean, it's the moment we've been waiting for for a long time. You know, it's probably the highlight of the offseason. I mean, at least it is for me. We can see which players we're going to get in this draft, what additions we're going to add to the team, and see uh, how much better we can make this team through this draft. Hopefully, we can get a few starters out these first few rounds. But before we do anything, I want you to subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button. Click that notification bell. And always leave comments on the videos. I like to hear your perspective, your opinions, your point of views. And share the channel. I appreciate it. It goes a long way with helping building this channel. All right, let's jump right into it. Now with the Steelers, having had all their pre-draft visits in, they... We're less than a week away. I feel like we have a pretty good idea of who the Steelers like as far as their picks. Hey, maybe an idea, of, not in order of where they like, but we have a pretty good idea of what position they're targeting. We've seen a lot of receivers and a lot of offensive linemen being brought in. So with our first pick, I see Troy Fatano on the board. I believe that's somebody they're really high on. I've also heard that he... It's somebody they see that can play all five positions along the line. There are some analysts that are saying that he is actually the best center in the draft or potentially could be the best center in the draft, but I see him as a tackle. I, I believe he can play center, but I don't know offensive line enough to say he can play all five positions, but I know he plays right, uh, play, excuse me, plays tackle. So we're gonna select Troy Fatano, uh, tackle out of Washington. All right, now with our second pick, we have Zach Frazier just went. I was hoping he was going to drop a little. I tried to pause it before he was selected, but he had me selected right when I hit it. So I was going to see if I can trade up to grab him, but he went higher than I thought he would. So we'll get back into it. We're at pick 51, and not something I expected, but, I mean, since he's here, Graham Barton, uh, center out of Duke. So we've got Troy Fatano, tackle out of Washington, and we're going to take Graham Barton, center out of Duke. Now you know these drafts aren't always the most realistic, but I mean, if a player's there, we're going to take them. All right, so for our next pick, we have a tackle, we have a center, so we're still looking at receiver, and we're still looking at a uh, slot corner. Uh, Jalen McMillan, uh, receiver out of Washington. And somebody else that I really like, and I think the Steelers are high on. So we're going to take Jalen McMillan, a receiver out of Washington. I believe he's capable of playing inside and outside. So I think that's a really good pickup uh, for the Steelers. Pick 98 will be our next pick. So we've taken care of tackle, center, receiver. Uh, what corners are around? Andrew Phillips is still here, but I think we may be able to get him a little bit later. But I don't know if I want to wait to get him. Yeah, I've always heard if you if there's a player you like, uh, then take him. Somebody like Sandra still is somebody that I was liking in the wrist spot. He won already, so I don't want to miss out on another corner. And Andrew Phillips is somebody that we've also brought in on a pre-draft visit. So with pick 98, we're going to go Andrew Phillips, corner out of Kentucky. All right, next up, we're at pick 119. The Eagles are offering 120 and pick 210. Trading for 119 and a seventh round for next year. Now, moving back one spot, uh, I don't think there's a player that I will be opposed to moving back one spot. And we can also pick up a late round one of them seventh round picks. So it's not the worst offer. I'm not sure who the Eagles are trying to get. I don't think it's anybody that we're interested at this point. So maybe we can sneak out pick 172. All right, so we'll take it. We're just moving back one spot and picking up an extra pick. All right, so we have Fatano, Graham Barton, Jalen McMillan, and Andrew Phillips. So we're looking at 
Darian Taylor Demerson, safety out of Tech. Jaden Hicks. I like Jaden Hicks. Uh, he could possibly be the pick right here. What else do we have? Brandon Rice down here. Now, I've always liked Jaheim Bell, but since we signed uh, Mike Cole Pruitt, I think that took tight end out of the running. And Javon Baker's another receiver I really like. But we got Jalen McMillan already. So let's go with, with Jaden Hicks. I think he's a, a, a good size safety, productive safety out of Washington State. Yeah, let's go Jaden Hicks, uh, safety out of Washington State. All right, now we're at pick 178. Now let's see what is on the board for us. All right, we have Jordan Jefferson, D tackle out of LSU. Keith Randolph out of LSU. Christian Boyd, a player that we brought in on a pre-draft visit. And Tommy Eichenberg, Josh Proctor. So at pick 178, I'm gonna go off what the Steelers have brought in on a pre-draft visit, which is, which is Christian Boyd. So we'll go Christian Boyd, deep tackle out of Northern Iowa. A powerful, explosive player. I think he'll fit in great on this defensive line. So now we're at pick 195. We have Tommy Eichenberg is probably the most notable name on here. Joe Milton, a quarterback that can be a backup quarterback for us. Uh, maybe a long-term backup in the future. But something to keep in mind, uh, especially with Tommy Eichenberg, is this new kickoff rule. They're going to want a little more size. I mean, he's not the biggest guy. He's 6'2", 233, but we're not going to have those corners and, and, and safeties on that kickoff as much as in previous seasons. So we need to start thinking about special teams uh, when we're drafting these late round picks. So Tommy Eichenberg is somebody I think can be a depth linebacker and hopefully can be a, a key special teams player. So we'll go with Tommy Eichenberg. And with our last pick, pick 210, Joe Milton still sitting here. So I think I have to take Joe Milton. I like the upside that he, he potentially has. Uh, he can be a quarterback for the future, a project. Somebody that can sit behind uh, Wilson and Fields and Kyle uh, Allen. And somebody can sit back and learn for a few years and hopefully turn into something. So our draft is complete. Uh, this is actually a pretty quick one. We got Troy Fatanu, tackle out of Washington. Grand Barton. Center out of Duke. That's funny with these two players. Like Fatano and Barton have both been talked about as being able to play all across the offensive line. So we have two versatile players. And that can come in handy because we have, you know, Isaac Sayamalu is getting up in age. We're not sure how much longer he'll be on the Steelers roster. And you never know what type of player is going to come up in the draft in the next coming seasons. We have some flexibility at this at this guard position with Fatano and Barton. They both can slide out and play guard. Uh, they can play tackle. But, yeah, we have some flexible, some versatile players on that line. Uh, we have Jalen McMillan, receiver out of Washington. Somebody is able to play inside and outside. Andrew Phillips, corner from Kentucky. Jaden Hicks, safety from Washington State. Christian Boyd, deep tackle out of Northern Iowa. Tommy Eichenberg, linebacker, Ohio State, which I think will be a good depth piece. And our flyer, Joe Milton. So I'm glad I traded back that one spot. I think it was the Eagles we made that trade with. We traded back one spot at pick 120 and able to pick up uh, pick 210. And we took Joe Milton with that pick. So I think it all worked out and I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm, I'm happy with this draft. I think we... We've uh, addressed all our needs, tackle, center, receiver, and corner with our first four picks. Uh, we picked up a safety that hopefully can be somebody we can line up next to Minka for years to come. Christian Boyd, more depth on that defensive line. And uh, Eichenberg, depth at linebacker. And Joe Milton, uh, it could be a project that has a ton of upside. 
So let me know what you think. Let me know where you may have went different. Uh, if you like the draft, you don't like the draft. Uh, let me know in the comments. So I appreciate you for staying uh, through the video. Uh, if you could please subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, share the video. And like I always say, stay blessed and stay positive. Here we go.